Hello class, in this video, we will learn how to apply the extrude tool in your Autodesk Inventor 2020. So to begin with, please open up all these five uh, file format, the extrude tool, uh, extrude tool to extend, extrude tool to extend to next, extend in between, and lastly, extend to a certain surface. So to begin with, let's go into uh, number one, extrude tool.ipt. So for this case, you'll be presented with a few sketches here. Okay, so you can go in the 3D model tab under the create panel and click on the extrude tool. Here, you can see a dialog box that appears. So Inventor has always this, has this flow where you begin from the top, post, all the way downwards. So the first thing to take note is actually this small icon over here. So this icon toggles between a solid model or a surface model. So let me show you what it means. Just click on any of this feature. You notice that everything here will actually create a very solid model. Now, if we toggle it over, there will be this shape that appears. And if you notice, only the edges are being extruded. This is what is called, it is known as surface modeling. Okay. For this exercise, for this activity, we are just fully using uh, solid modeling. So now, press on the shift key and your middle mouse to rotate your viewport and select these three profiles. Okay, you can press shift and middle mouse to view your diagram further, to rotate it and visualize it better. Now, under the behavior, we have two items here, directions and also the distance of the left, direction. So we have this, it's just pointing downwards now on default. Now, if we swap over, it just flip the whole extrusion over to the other side. Now, this option here is symmetry, meaning if the distance for the whole solid is 10 mm, when you apply this symmetry direction, it applies a 5 mm upwards and 5 mm extruded downwards. And lastly, the asymmetrical uh, extrusion, where you can apply two different distances at one go. So let's say your distance B stick to 5 mm. Okay, if you notice here, there's one a shorter extrusion at the top and a longer extrusion at the bottom. So you need to tweak your mind a little bit and do a little bit of uh, tracking on your own too. So distance A is actually at the bottom, distance B is at the top. So 5 mm and 10 mm. Let's say the 10 mm, we increase it to 20. You notice that the preview shows you the updated version, the updated distances. And if let's say you would like to swap it over, just click on this flip direction. And you have the distances flip over. And once you're happy with it, you can press OK. So this is the activity for extrude tool number one. Now, on to the second portion, I will be going, I'll be showing you how to do a measurement of some features here and then apply an extrusion to a certain distance, let's say to half of this thickness. And lastly, we will apply that extrusion through all. Okay, let's begin. So we already have this uh, slot hole, the slot sketch being done here. So click on extrude. You can select the two options over. Now we are going to apply a cut that's where we can have this Boolean function here that will change from one to the other. So the first item here is to join. It means to add material to your existing feature, your existing model. Second item is the cut operation. Okay, from the word, it's quite straightforward. It's just to remove material. Uh, notice also that they automatically change the direction of the extruded part. Lastly, is the intersection. So we have the solid body just now, the, the original uh, solid body. 
and anything that intersect with this uh, new extruded part, that will be the leftover. So this is the intersect operation. And lastly, new body. This is more ideal for multi-body modeling. So in this case, this is not a focus. So let's just uh, play between these three operations here. Okay. So before that, uh, like I mentioned, we would like to know what is the thickness of this step here. Okay. So that we can half the value and enter as the distance. So uh, let's cancel this extrude tool view first. Click on M on your keyboard to call out the measuring tool. So to, to measure the distance between these two uh, surfaces or this tab itself, there's two ways to do it. Okay, you can either click on the surfaces, okay, and you can see the value here, 25, and you can also see the value here, 25. You can click outside the model to reset it, to restart a new measuring. Now click on this edge, and you can also have the length of it, the thickness of it. So uh, depending on your situation, you are, yeah, you, are free, you are free to measure any way you want. All right, so we know that the thickness is 25. So now let's go into your extrude tool under 3D model tab, create panel, click on extrude. Now we select the profiles. We would like to do a cut operation. But this time under distance A, we enter 25 divide slash by two. Okay, you notice that everything gets divided totally nicely. And then we can press OK. In doing so, we have this slot cut halfway about the thickness of this part. Now, let's let's say we want to extrude cut all the way through. Miss, I do not want to see anything here. There is totally no material right at this slot over here. Uh, we can just go over to your model browser, go to the icon of the extrusion number four, double click on it. 